All right, everybody, welcome back to the Dad and Buried podcast. We're sorry we missed you last week. My fault, I think. We had a, a lot no of thinking, shuffling around. No thinking about it. It was. 100%. I've been thinking about it a lot. I, <laughs> yeah, I hate letting you guys down. I know. Yeah. It's tough to coordinate this. We know we got kids, except yeah. for Nate. Life happened real hard to you and to us. Life happened real hard. Yeah. So this week we're going to be talking about, um, it says playtime with kids because Pete didn't change the template. Mm. Um, we'll be talking about discipline, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, what works, what doesn't. You yeah. know what doesn't work? You know what You know what actually works? What? Nothing. You know what doesn't work? Everything. Yeah. You got it. Everything doesn't work. Everything doesn't work. Right. I can't do anything right. We're going to get into it. Yeah. Um, before we do, obviously, we want to thank our supporters on Patreon, um, yes. the single dads. They're not actually single dads, although. But there's a single dad no, tier, which uh, we love. We, we don't love have a problem with single dads, but single dad is the single dad tier. Chris right. Coleman, which I. Coleman. I think it's just Coleman. David Tuttle's been here from the beginning. M.S. Babayan. Who's actually supporting us on um, Anchor, Anchor as well. But and she we're, is a we're, we're, we're looping her in. Dedicated contributor. Yes, yes um, absolutely. Very engaged. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Also very engaged on the dad bod tier is Barbara Geiger. Oh, Barbara. We got a big, uh, we got a big comment from her coming up uh, on our next episode. Oh, cool. You know what? Hey. It's a good one. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to bring down the house. Yeah. We'll see. L- Stay l- tuned. Listen out for Barbara, yeah. Um, and we've got father figure Julie McCarthy, who I knew in a former life, um, and who was the one who said she was impressed that it doesn't suck yes, in reference to the podcast. Well, she obviously had worked closely with you. So. I am impressed at how backhanded that compliment is. Mm-hmm. You should uh, be. And then the, ne- the greatest tier is the world's greatest dad with uh, the Sarge, Cole, Wiedemeyer. Again, needless pronunciation on that one. Mary Williams and Mom Party of Two, who's Mom. new, highly engaged all over Instagram. Party of two. We appreciate all you guys. We, we hope uh, some more people will join. We've got, we've got, we've got what some merch. Oh, we got guys. We, we got, got some merch. stickers. Yeah, they're they're large and in charge, but they're you know it's worth it. So one of the best moments in my entire life is yeah. in college. I used to write for um, my college newspaper, and then they opened up another newspaper, and I was able to get <laughs> in on the put ground you out floor. Of business. No, no, no. I got in the ground floor. Of that okay. was so I could do like a column, right? Because it was new, mm-hmm. and you didn't need to be an upperclassman to get it. So like my sophomore right. year, I got a column. Um, and when we were looking, because at my college junior year, most 75% of the class lives off campus, so you need to rent an apartment. Right. While we were a party, apartment hunting, I went into an apartment that on their fridge, someone had cut off, cut out one of my columns and pinned it to their fridge. And it was a great day. did the apartment burn down or it was no, still... No, it wasn't any kind of omen. Okay. It just made me feel good about myself. Oh. Made me feel like maybe I could amount to something That's in this nice. world. I have not amounted to anything. But... Then it remains a career peak. Then you got my married unpaid, and had kids. My uh, columnist then... role at the weird conservative <laughs> paper that sprung up at my uh, liberal school. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So you wrote for the conservative paper? I just needed to get my voice out there, you know. Okay. I bet, um, <laughs> I bet you were really. I bet you went full. I did. Bill, there was, there's full nothing Bill political O'Reilly. about my comment, my okay. my column. That's funny. Um, anyway, that one was about drunk stories. Um, okay. Which was that's, you know that's pretty it was probably uh, like 400 words bipartisan. Real lowest common denominator shit is what you meant to say. Um, so yeah, hit me on Patreon. Um, that would be almost as good as when somebody pinned my column to their fridge. Mm, that's both a lovely story, but also deeply, deeply. Depressing. Sad, yeah, yeah. Well, well, you didn't know it was depressing until 20 years later when you realized <laughs> until, that was until a peak. today. Yes, and he would still be talking about that moment <laughs> 22 uh, something years later. Yeah. Um, as always, you can get us on iTunes, Spotify, all the podcasting, WhatsApp, pl- yeah, wherever you want. If Blaze is that the name of the podcast it. platform? Because I feel like it should honestly, be Blaze. Go to sleep no? and think about us, and we'll be there. Can we get on like serious? Um, that's a really good question. Right. You know what? Serious. I know no one's listening, so go ahead. Maybe and they're watching on YouTube, call. which you can also do if you're Ooh, a Looney good Tunes. good call. Yeah. No, that's actually a boss move. A boss move. Yeah. Listen on uh, on YouTube because then you can thing. listen to other music and, you know, TED Talks. Who, who's and, listening to music while you're, they're watching the podcast? What are you talking about? Yeah, you, because you can go from podcast to music to TED Talks. You're saying to, on YouTube is the best for being able to do that? It's yeah. called your fucking iTunes. Oh my God! Everything's iTunes. there. iTunes is going away break. though. Oh, thank God! Bittersweet. No, no. I'm just sweet. saying it's more all efficient sweet, than YouTube. All the time. YouTube is video based. You're not going to use YouTube to flip around to podcast. How, how old are you? Seven hundred <laughs> years old? <laughs> are you really? Uh, maybe I am. Okay. Is that really Come an on. old take? It's that's the, an old un- person's un- take. Unbelievably no, old. Nate is like you're dumb. 
go no. back to England. Nate. I heard him say that earlier. Get out of here. He didn't Nate. want you to know, but know you know what? what? I'm closer with you than Nate, and I thought you deserved to. I don't, no I secrets don't, between us, I don't know us, how to Pete. respond to that. No, no secrets comment. between us. What the fuck, Mike? Okay. <laughs> well, listen, <clears throat> last episode, we, was about, we, um, we talked about birthdays. Birthday parties, yeah. Yeah, and we got some comments. And our uh, uh, MS Babayan, our lovely supporter and champion number one. Wow, that was quite the... Well, I'm just, I don't know. She's Sold really, Riquet, is that the correct term? I don't know. I actually don't I'm know what that I'm very means. surprised. No, I don't you. know that. All right. Google, so, it. Google it, folks. Yeah, so uh, what I, I thought she was great, she was uh, gave us some pointers on how to uh, reach some folks. Which yeah, she really, said I should like, pot, yeah. post a link to the podcast on Facebook, which yeah. I do mm, every fine. time. The algorithm, algorithm throttles my reach. I've That's had good. nothing for like the past year. Coming off like the, my most trafficked year ever, it's... Just gone away. Yeah. Is that because you post all that really weird shit about like like tentacle porn? Views? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Is tentacle right. porn weird. I thought it was good. Well, these days. It, it it is when it involves Rush Limbaugh and. Uh, Can I uh, be honest with you? But I think tentacle porn is the worst form of porn. media on earth. Not just porn. Anything. Okay. That's that's that's, that's a, worse than that's a, cl- we, it's that's worse a very than climate change. <laughs> tentacle porn. Yeah. Yeah. Not, I'm just not into it. It doesn't do it for me. Okay. Well, right. I feel like you're mixing a couple things up in here, up in the same um, thing. Like you're, you know, what, what does that have to do with media? Tentacle porn. I'm just porn. saying, but tentacle porn is like animated porn. Yeah. And it's the worst animated thing that exists. It's the worst porn thing that exists. And it's the worst any kind of video content of any type. Like at the bottom of the barrel is what I'm saying. Got it. Snuff films, maybe you could argue, are below it. You know what? I'm going to take this and audio Mad TV clip. I'm going to take this audio clip and other. make it my ringtone. You know what I mean? Is that, is <laughs> me talking gonna, about technical yeah, porn? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make it my ringtone to make you... Uh, anyway, we'll watch. Like we should walk together. We'll watch 8mm with uh, Nick Cage. We'll, we'll talk it over. So let's let's finish MS Babayan's wonderful comment besides telling us that we should do a better job of posting on Facebook. <laughs> you mean me? Yeah, you. Okay. Um, she also goes on to say, why are they so damn expensive? When I was a kid, we got the some parties. balloons and a cake. Yeah, the parties. Yeah, yeah. Well, because of Pinterest. Yeah. And one-upmanship. Oh, and then all these picky ears, she goes on to say. Gah. Oh, the kids? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, my kid has like a bad allergy. Yeah. So back off, bye-bye. You know what? How about that? How about... It's called common courtesy. How about come at you? How about what? Come, come at, at me? Yeah, come at you. Cash me outside? You yeah, think? exactly. Did you try to say with cash me boom, outside, with, but you said come at you? No. Because you it, couldn't remember the actual words? With, no, I was trying to get like a bag of almonds in there that would disable you. You're, you think that's funny? Yeah, My I kid do. will fucking die if you bring a bag of You know what? Near him. I mean, honestly, I feel really bad about that. But at the same time, <laughs> like, how about, like, can't you strength train him a little bit? A little you bit. Know, of a little bit. Well, we could have, but we're bad parents. And we <laughs> didn't do that at the beginning. So now if he has an almond flake, about, uh, he'll fucking collapse. Yeah. It's called anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock. Fuck, I blew it. Yeah. You hate when you, 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 nail, you blow it with a missed uh, dismount, as they say. <clears throat> Good call. Also, we have Funky Fee, who said. That's uh, Barbara uh, Geiger. Oh, yeah. Nice. And then she goes, uh, the hybrid party sounds absolutely stupid. This is interesting. It is absolutely stupid. This was your idea that parents should give you the option of staying or leaving. Oh. And I said, that's really dumb. And then you said, no, what you do is you, you show up and you, you give the gift and then you get cake. And then if you want to, you can leave because for some reason you're obsessed with birthday party cake. You're an adult. Go no. buy some. Just I, leave I'm, and I'm not it. obsessed. My kid, my the kids but you're want yank cake. Your, we're not getting into this. Then you want to yank right. your kid out of there early too. Whatever she says, the logistics of it, having to be prepared in case yeah. all of the parents stay, even though maybe only two will. You and your wife, oh, because and you're then fucking weird. It's like a, it's like a, it's a good way to end the party. Maybe that's maybe that's something. that's actually the traditional way parties are built. At the end, everyone know, leaves rather than in the middle. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, That's you what figured was so it out. Bullshit. You cracked the code yeah. that was cracked hundreds no, of years ago. Big birthdays have had this rain oh my God, over us this the big whole time. Stick. And now what You're I'm saying hammering that into the ground. Let's let's change it up. Okay. Anyway, Funky Fee, thank you for the comment. She, she uh, again, she has a really touching comment on the Father's Day. All right. Well, let's uh If I don't blow my delivery. <laughs> well, there's always a chance. We never know. You never know. We'll get into uh discipline uh right after this. Crush discipline today, all right? Things are going to get a little testy. Okay. Feelings are going to get hurt. I apologize in People advance, are be Nate. People going to be crying? You'll probably be crying. I'll probably be crying, yeah. 
Will I be in a timeout? Well, no, because they don't work. Uh, but before we get point. into that, I want to talk about something that happened to my son last weekend. Three and a half, fell over, cracked his skull open. We spent four hours on Sunday night in the emergency room. Um, he had to get five staples in his head. What? Staples? Yeah, I think because it's the cranium. Yeah, you can't do you stitches. Can't stitches. It won't, oh. The skin is too thin. Fuck. So they staple. I stayed out of the room. <laughs> My Good wife call. and the nurses held the kid down. Um, I could sit here and, and, and rationalize away why I stayed out of the room. I had to stay with Detective Munch, who was a little bit nervous about the situation, right. um, all this stuff. But in reality, I'm squeamish. I'm not into that. I don't need to see that kind of okay. shit. Um, my wife is less squeamish. Handle them. You could hear just the screams. They thought it was going to be three staples, so they only had three, and then they had to leave the room to go get more staples because he needed more prolonging. Oh my God. The, anyway, it doesn't just come like a, like I don't a, like know, a man. I did not like look at the apparatus. I was not interested. No, they you, have to count. Are you, are you, they have to count. you mocking my son's no, fucking I, staple? I'm mocking the doctors who, what, they don't fucking come with staples ready. Well, who's ever showed up to in an <laughs> office with three staples in a stapler? Everybody here has shown up and opened their staples. Think, stapler, think there's a ton and realize there's only a few. Really? Yeah, they, everybody. And, and they're, they're all fucking and they're all doctors. Dexter. They're all doctors no. operating on a three-year-old child. Do you think the child? doctors are who are really that concerned about the staple gun inventory? The number of staples? Yeah, if no, they're, they're doing not. a procedure. They're, they're doing what they need to do and they're reaching for it. If it's full, it's full. It's somebody else's job. Also the American healthcare Good call. System, so yeah, yeah. Stable. American yeah. healthcare. Well, that's another story for next week. I may. Uh, oh. I got a little Obamacare action oh since God. I'm still unemployed. Okay. Thanks for thanks for nothing. <laughs> thanks for nothing. Sixty thousand followers who can't get me a goddamn job. Oh my God. I'm just kidding, guys. I love most of you. All right, so let's finish this really horrific story. A few viewers so are a little scary. Let's finish this story. What's so he smashed on? his head open, and it was traumatizing for everyone involved okay. except well, him because we'll now he's totally stapling. Fucking so they, fine. they came out. They stapled them. They, they got the okay. other two staples. Right. They stapled them. Now, because this story is going fast and furious, let's back it up a little bit. What happened? He was. <laughs> what, what happened? Is what that happened? Best, it's not best in show. Uh, so what? What? How did he? <laughs> how did he smash his mighty wind? skull open? Um, so he was just, I guess, and I don't remember this part because I was fucking this is like horrible, three sheets this to is the wind. This is so horrible. <laughs> oh, ham, ham boned. Six o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I'm no. joking. I'm joking. I had like maybe two beers. No, a beer. Um, and he what, was what like, was, was this Sunday like a, night. A Sunday, okay. He was uh, riding around on his little Thomas train and for some reason putting outdoor throw pillows around them and yeah. he was near the concrete steps and he, I don't know, he hit the pillow the wrong way and tipped over. Mm. And he fell, and it seemed like he just kind of. We didn't. I couldn't see that he had hit the rough edge of the thing. Why are we getting into the details? Well, because I, okay. I already told you I'm squeamish. All right. It was my son. It was traumatizing. Okay. Wake up the next day. Make sure he doesn't have a concussion overnight. All that shit. Wake up the next day. Wait, he's next fucking day. totally fine. No, no, no. We went to the emergency okay, room. Got, all that okay, shit. Got I'm it, saying got it, got it, got it. overnight, like they're like monitor right, him. Right, right. Make okay. sure he's not acting weird. Post throwing up. Post staple. Yes, okay, like. Did they have to like shave his head or they just like did it with the hair and everything? No, so I could barely see the cut because he has a, it clotted, yeah, but he yeah, has a mop yeah, of yeah, yeah. curly hair. Um, and really, I've barely looked at it since. No thanks. Do, do you know that uh, my eldest daughter uh, yes, I almost don't bit hear her story. tongue off? Oh my God. Like almost bit her tongue off? Do you, have you. Not I don't to, think not everybody to wants to. This, just, I think I'm about just, this all the time. It to, haunts my dreams. First of all, do not let your kids run in flip flops, period, full stop. First of all, I'm not going to sit here for another week and let you disparage flip flops. I happen to love them. Oh my god! All right, Second rainbows, all, fucking for life. No, 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 for for death. If you're running, oh running. god, I don't want to talk so, about this anymore. Can I just say, <laughs> it's the only time that when she sh she was three at the time when she put her tongue out to brush teeth because oh the tongue god, is the most um, robust organ that Ooh. you have. And well, so there's speak for yourself. There, so actually <laughs> sewing, unless it's actually dangling, which this actually wasn't, but it was close. <laughs> It, there's nothing you can do. It um, the, when I saw it because I hadn't seen it uh, oh until it was God. bedtime. I I immediately got hot, like a hundred oh degrees, Dude, I and I almost hear passed about this. out. Yeah, no shit. It, That's why I wasn't in the like room when my dog. kid got it, stapled. It like I'm not dog. interested in it. Kay. Anyway, he's fine. He woke up the next day like nothing ever happened. Uh, uh, Wednesday of this week, he's getting the staples removed, which I hear is Ooh, not as bad, that, but also no, sucks. That sounds horrible. <laughs> that sounds worse. I'm hoping I won't be there. We'll see. Yeah. Wow. We'll see. Jeez. But he's fine. I've never, um, knock on wood, I've never broken anything except maybe a toe, but you can't do anything about that. Oh, yeah. um, 
and, and you've, ne- I've never really gotten stitches. What about people's spirits? I feel like you've broken a few <laughs> of broken, those. I have okay. broken a lot of people's so, spirits. So hopefully. So speaking of breaking own. spirits, how do you break your goddamn kid's spirit? Well, do you know what I mean? Because I controversial. Need, I don't know uh, how to do it. My well, kids. Well, no, I've, I haven't. They've broken mine. Yeah. I'm their slave. <laughs> I know. Every, Even when you think you're you're doing a good job or laying down the law, yeah. they don't. No, they know what's really no. Who's really in there's control. a there's a, a a comedian says this joke. So like there's two types of <laughs> there's two types of there's two types of people. People who are who have parents and people who are not. They look. They come along. They're on a mall. They see this uh, woman mm-hmm. screaming at this crying kid. And people who don't have who don't have kids go, what is that horrible woman doing to that poor yeah, child? Yeah, I've done a meme about this. And and then of course there's parents come along and they see the same thing and they go, what did that horrible child yes. do that poor woman? That is what discipline is really all about. It's just how do you tell someone to stop doing something in a way that makes them understand just how much you need them to stop. We talked about, well, about you can do that, but that doesn't mean no matter what they understand, it doesn't, they're not going to do what you want them to do. Right. Remember the playground episode that we did where it's yeah. like, be careful. The reason you say be careful is not like, honestly, if you fall and you, you hurt yourself and it was like, whatever. And I knew you were going to be fine. You point and laugh. like I would point and just be like, yeah, you dumb told shit. you. Yeah. Yeah. I, told I did you. a meme about that too. You guys should but check guess out my what? Instagram. But the real problem <laughs> is, just like what you said, I don't want to go to ER. No, I don't want. So get so down. So my wife broke a pint glass. <laughs> oh, last summer, Eesh. we had to go to the same ER. You did not want to see this Eesh. one either. No, right? And I'm just as annoyed at her for getting hurt oh, as I is for uh, and for my kid. You yeah. ruined my Sunday night. I know. There's only so many of these left when you're in your 40s. All yeah. right, I summer know. Sunday nights. Come on. Just kidding, honey. Don't lose the car keys again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's start at the top. Twice, Ti- twice in like six okay. months. Let's start at the top. Timeouts, <laughs> go. I think timeouts are the stupidest thing of all time. They've never once worked. My toddler doesn't even fucking understand what they are. But I the- try to pick him up and bring him somewhere. He doesn't give a shit. The, it sounds. Are you doing it consistently? Do you do the same thing every time? I don't do anything consistently, okay, Pete. <laughs> if I did things consistently, I'd be a good parent. Uh, yeah. Do you know how hard it is to do things uh-huh. consistently? Among two people? Are you strict or you just yell? I just yell. I want to be more strict than my wife. I know. But my problem is when I try to be strict, she, I go to DEFCON 1 or whatever. And or like, she's, she's like off the hook every time. Well, like, I'll just say, it. not even that. I'll just say something so ridiculous like, you're fucking, I'm going to destroy the sun if you do that yeah, again, yeah. right? Like something that yeah, yeah. cannot be attained. Right. <laughs> and then I can't follow through, which diffuses any kind of threat that I am so to now, begin with. That now my wife left- gets really angry that I... Yeah, just will jump immediately from the from no consequences right. to the most ridiculous consequences. Right, and now the problem is, is now that they've had six years of it. Yeah, well, they're they're like whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. it has no effect. The, on my my eight effect. year old is becoming a problem. Let's say. Yeah. Okay. So timeouts, right. I don't think do anything. You're right. The key to timeouts is consistency. Not even you don't even say anything. You just grab the kid, put him wherever his fucking timeout is if he's that young. Yeah. Um, whether it's a crib or whatever, and just wait for it to die down. Yeah. Waiting for it to die down, I think, is definitely sound advice. It is not necessarily easy to do when I get my blood up yeah. and I know that I need to let my son like run through it. Right. We whatever gotta, he's got to fucking get yeah. through. I gotta let him do it whether he's in a timeout yep. or not. But sometimes I'm so pissed off that I can't stop fucking lecturing him or doing whatever. Right. You know what? That's funny because that sounds like um, certain folks that live in my household. Not my wife necessarily. No, not necessarily. I'm just saying like like, like hypothetically hypothetically, like people like that. Um, (laughs) But what it does bring up is uh, parenting styles, which we should do an episode on. Like having different different parenting parenting styles. styles, When you and your spouse do. I've written a blog post about um, it. It's actually. Cross promotion tonight is fucking off the chain. Is it? It's, I feel like it's very much on the <laughs> so, chain. So, hold on. I want to run through. These are all the people that said time out. Shoalbreath282, Sheila for good, Mimi Miliciano. She said, she agrees with me. Face she palm. said, trying time out, but put a facepalm emoji meaning. Well, so obviously, uh, Sheila for Bug. good knows what, knows what she's doing. She's saying time out. So with, with an exclamation point. Yeah, yeah. So well, she, she, I, I, feel, I feel like she's probably just doing it liberally. No, time out. Time out every second. Just hey, because of the hey, exclamation Hey, mom, I have a question. Point? That's what you're time reading out. into her exclamation point. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Melissa, underscore, Brilliant. Melissa, underscore, bug, underscore, 
Was there like a th- 10 other Melissa bugs out there that you needed the three <laughs> underscores? I doubt it. Time out, but I don't know why. Neither do I. She's like, it doesn't work. Started the chart thing. We'll get into that in a bit. Ooh, chart. And so here's a couple other things people mentioned. Um, well, the Brian Gill said timeouts in, in good cop, bad cop, which we definitely do. Um, five Lie says timeout and also cleaning the room. Getting into like chore yes. related so stuff I like, is pretty good. I like five Lie's way of doing it the time we i do a lot of the go to the room tidy things up clean things up you can have something else when when a, something has yeah. been exchanged you have, there's like a concept right yeah of well like, that's the thing you gotta earn you gotta it earn like, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah get back in my good graces except for uh my respect good works which is uh or actually their respect i don't think they have any respect so me. mary uh babayan says she wishes she could put herself in time out which <laughs> that's actually a good point i've um, done it where like you just, you just if your wife so, is home, if your spouse is home, so and like up. they know that you are like beyond yeah, pissed, yeah, yeah. you can go into your room yeah. or like step outside or do what you have yeah. to do and have like justifiable yeah. reason for it when you get back or whatever, right. or she'll understand. I've done that. It's a good point. I mean, you know, g- take giving a minute to yourself when oh, yeah, when you're about to like really a, lose some shit, especially if you can go in your bathroom where you have the flask in uh, oh, the back yeah. of the toilet. But these, I mean, these kids know. It's like a recurring joke now. Well, like first of it. all, they they're they're you, right? And so, who's more they annoying you. than you are? No one. Nobody. Speaking for you, definitely. <laughs> and so, <laughs> you know, being able to be wound up by these, like, you know, no, but jerks. nobody winds me up more easily. Of course, because they Cause know. You're, but you're all. It's not only they know, and they're little versions of you. You are already keyed up. Around your kids most of the time anyway. Right? You're already kind of like, oh, uh, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, Dad, let me show you this. And you're like, oh, that should be sweet. But it's just like, what? How what often do you need are to you like me? laid back and like chill at home? Do you know what? Like <laughs> maybe there's like a window of time on the weekend and it's somewhere like in the middle of Saturday or Sunday. So where that's like the, the super golden zone. You know what a lucid dream is? Yeah, of course. It's a dream where you realize you're dreaming yep. and can control it and you yeah. can like train yourself to do it yeah, by I'm, noticing I'm, the signifiers going, and stuff. I'm going through one right now. That's what that is like, right? Where it's like where you're asleep at night and maybe you're dreaming and then all of a sudden in the middle of a dream you realize, oh my God, I have some semblance of control because that's the thing. You realize you're dreaming when you're in the dream and it's very fleeting a lot of times because yeah. whatever happens pulls you out of it. Yeah. That's what it's like on like a Sunday afternoon where suddenly like fun. you're chill. Yeah. You have like an hour and a half or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. reason you can like sit on the porch and have a beer and nobody's bugging you. You have that brief thing and then suddenly With it kids explodes. or without kids? You without, say. I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying. Oh, I, but, Like I, they're in the other room. doing. They're, they're in the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're not all up on you. They're, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. You're relaxed. I, I was very rare. I was going to take it one. I, I don't know whether it's step forward or back, but uh, with the kids, I actually can be relaxed and enjoy the kids for a very brief, brief period of, of time, time yeah. which is generally when I have the most energy is like in the morning, right up until like early afternoon. And then right at early afternoon, it's like, OK, everybody, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. I'll, I'll see, see you uh, next week. My thing is, and I'm they, I'm moody. They don't go anywhere. They just stay there, and then they. Start I'm moody, questions. so I'll like suddenly get like fucking gloomy or mad out of nowhere. Yeah. Um. Every once in a while, just like if the stress gets to me because I hold it at bay a lot of times, something like that happens. All of a sudden, like I need to be fucking alone. And that's yeah. when I got to put myself in time out if I can. But you can't always do that. No, especially if you're the only parent around. Okay. So. A lot of people use timeouts. A lot of them are question it the same way we do. Steve Rouch uses timeouts because he is staunchly against spanking. And he says, 50 years of research say it's the worst way to discipline. You wouldn't even hit your dog. Why would we hit our kids? Like, you go to jail if you beat a dog. Right. I don't know. He says something like that. I didn't type that part out. Um, I was spanked as a kid. Mm-hmm. Not a lot. Mm-hmm. But the point of spanking isn't to hit the kid. It's to scare the shit out of the kid so that the next time, if you say you're going to get a spanking, yeah. the kid shits his pants and you pants and you never have yeah. to spank him. Yeah. It's, it, it's a it's a catalyst for breaking the energy. There's something about I was spanked. Uh, there was a brain. There's yeah, a big surprise. Um, no, no. I'm saying like just earlier before I got here. No, that's um, what I was saying. Big I, surprise. I feel about. like really so good about it. And um, no, but there, there is there is an energy level. What happens? I feel is that spanking. Right, it, it, it first of all, first of all, these are kids. You are a grown up, and when yeah. you when the there is an energy dynamic, and when the kid thinks that the they're energy control, dynamic, is, yeah, them. yeah, and there and the the timeouts are not working, and these other things are not working, and there is a 
there is a, a, a real, like, a real sort of viable reason to break that condition. Can I say something though? What do you think is, okay. is worse, right? So like that energy gets imbalanced and in order to combat it, if nothing's working, in my case, I yell and yell and more yeah. and more and more. What is worse? Like a kind of a level din of raised voices and yelling yeah. a lot of the time, all the time, or every once in a while, a fucking spike. nuclear bomb, World yeah. War Three yeah. spank situation. Like once every, I don't, I don't even want to say, every once every four years. <laughs> I'm not going to get into any trouble by no, saying that I beat my kid all the time. No, I, I, I do I, it just enough to fulfill the urge. I don't I know. I, I have, uh, I have spanked my one of my kids one time or twice actually uh, when they were younger, and it was to there was a spiral. There was right. nothing else to you do. To. Other it's like than an airplane it, when they smash the woman's face to stop it, it from going hysterical. Yeah, of course, it was on the bottom, but it was not on the face. Of course, um, but just it, say it, it was your son. It's a little bit less problematic. <laughs> It wasn't actually. It wasn't. Um, no, you just walked right into that one. So I gave you the out, and then you fucking no, backed uh, into it. Uh, anyway, okay. so it did. It did break the. It kind of. It kind of broke the. Were the, the other kids the aware of the fact that you spanked no. her? Well, no, I'm no, saying no, that no. would be a good deterrent <clears throat> too. It would be, and I, your kids grow up scared of you, which is a I, positive for a little while, and then becomes like the greatest regret of your life. You but know if what? you spank them, it hasn't even. You have an easier home life. Quite frankly, though, speaking of, I have three. Speaking of which, like different kids have different person. I don't you think it's even to come it, right. close to having the the concept of well, yeah, thinking about that with the other kids. Certain kids are different. The timeouts and the they cleaning the room and all that stuff. <laughs> um, I know I do. That's why I just was at the I'm just saying, like, case. I got spanked. So here's the argument. So the argument is it's not good. I, and I agree with that. I don't think it's effective. It's not necessarily the way you're saying it. You do it once to kind of reset things. It's not yeah. about anything else. Everyone's going to jump all over everybody's throats for even suggesting it. Um, but... And then you say, oh, it didn't affect me. And then people are like, well, how do you know it didn't affect you? What kind of person would you be? You're right. I'd probably have and you're a like, fucking Shut up, you idiot. seven-figure <laughs> job yeah. if I hadn't been yeah. spanked by my kids. Yeah. I would be all fucking set. And guess what? Wouldn't have this podcast. So now who's so glad now, I got spanked? Yeah. Mostly everybody, us everybody. three. <laughs> 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 and I'm even on the fence about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Time. So um, I, don't, I understand the, one, the controversy. I, I, if I wanna, anybody else spanked my kid. Yeah, no, come on. Trouble you, town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but one other thing that you said, which was interesting, was the the, 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 the just the general din of being generally yes. grumpy. I found like my, an I've, unpleasant household. I know I've found myself being that way more often recently and I don't like it. I don't like, like I come home and yeah. I'm like, Oh guys, you're already on. at like a six. I'm all, yeah, I, 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 yeah, exactly. Everyone's Legos or I've already stepped on four yeah. Legos and I'm already there. And you realize so this happens to like every single dad. No, I know. And, and parents alike for sure. But like, I, I would much rather, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't like the. But I, I will say this: I don't like going atomic. Here's a terrible. Atomic is is, is here's like a terrible analogy that horrible. fits into what you're st- saying. Yeah. So it's basically it's the the din of noise and just an unpleasant home, all the time, but without really the threat of a huge blow up. So it's like the Cold War. Yeah. Versus, like an, an atom bomb war. being yeah, yeah, dropped. Yeah, yeah. On. You know Nagasaki. It's a good point, and I think. I mean, I, what's I, worse? I think I, the I, bomb is worse. If you go by that analogy, the bomb is worse <laughs> than the Cold War. Well, I, well, when it comes to like the death toll. If we were to be, and the if we were to be accurate, karmic trauma. The Cold War is a result of the bomb right. happening. So right. it's that. So it's of, the reverse it's, of what it, you think it, it accomplishes. Okay, I'm I, stepping all over. The now, analogy just deconstructed your entire argument. Quite honestly, I don't even know who's talking about what anymore. <laughs> it I literally doesn't this matter. is the worst. Anyway, podcast so podcast I've ever been. M. Lavely who once complimented me the way I said her name. No idea if I said it correctly that time. She says, spanking is a no-go. We can't tell him not to hit and then hit him. To right. which I say, good in theory, but false because, I mean, I'm an yeah. enormous yeah, hypocrite yeah. as a parent. Every parent is, right? right? So there's definitely stuff. And I'll say, do as I say, not as I do, right. which my wife gets upset about because it's shitty. It's so annoying. Um, but it's true. I'm not a perfect person. I shouldn't be teaching anybody how to live their oh, lives, so I lie. stop you're absolutely perfect. Look at you. You know what, Pete? Look at your beautiful mind. Thanks. Mm. Can't. Was that an insult? You call me Russell Crowe? No. I was just going to wait till I talked about your body for a second. Okay. Um, <laughs> Lizbeth2489 says spanking comes after timeouts. Uh, Holly underscore Hammond5 spanking. Every kid needs a good ass whooping. It's a rite of passage. I want to point out two things. Um, I don't think every kid needs a good ass whooping. Um I'm not going to say the second thing because it was needlessly petty. Um, 
But I do think I often want to give my kid a good ass whooping. Yeah. I don't know if that means he deserves it, but yeah. sometimes I think about like it, it I probably would have been spanked at this point. There, there is a well f- look, when I was a kid in the eighties. There is a there is a, a and it's, again it's it's about just a, there is a a mode of establishing like shut up and listen kind of kind of mode now for right or wrong but the, the it's the the point is is this is your household this is your life now not that is not to say that spanking in any way is is acceptable right it's about trying to trying to in certain pe- in certain cases in certain people that are different like so these these are individual people some people that are just evil no no they need I'm, to I'm, be spanked i'm talking about the the your kids that are are individual from you yes. and have different personalities and whatnot and I, I think it just you need to kind of break that. Well, this is something I think is a good idea. So a couple of other people, Melanie Vineyard said rare spanking um, yeah. after everything else has failed. Right. Yep. Um, K underscore Andy underscore says she's a licensed therapist and says timeouts, taking things away and talking, but never spanking. Um, and I think Shav Nasty has a good idea. He says or she says good old flick to the ear, usually squash the behavior Ooh, right then and there. Call. Right. That's effective. It's not a spank. It doesn't have all the baggage that comes with spanking. It's just more like being bullied uh, in school. A hundred percent. And listen, uh, I, <laughs> that's a tough yeah. Also, no, no kid has ever struggled after being bullied in school. No, of course maybe not. we shouldn't just we, we should stop touching our kids. What about noogies? What's noogies. Our, that's the same stains? thing. Wedgies. Come on, atomic wedgies. A suitcase wedgie. That, that, so I saw Shazam, and yeah. in the movie Shazam, the kid mentions the sh- suitcase wedgie, which is when you grab the underwear and then carry the kid like he's a valise. <laughs> 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 Which is a fun visual. That they don't actually, actually show great. it. Um, so, so the licensed therapist K underscore Andy underscore check her out. I'm sure she's uh, got a website. Um, says taking things away, and a lot of people said taking things away. And I think if I'm not yelling, um, I'm taking things away. And usually, I'm yelling about taking things away. Yeah. Um, we do we do consequences a lot. So um, you know, so no screen time. Yeah, no, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But I'm, we we you call just it needed to rename it. Yeah, you needed to rename it instead of I'm going to take it away. I was just well, saying. Okay, a so Devarco says take their shit away. Yes. Sanchin underscore Genevieve says now that he's five, taking things away is super effective. Surviving underscore Mommy says taking privileges. Ari Polaris. Un- Ari underscore Polaris says we use timeout and taking Nintendo away for a day, so yes. we got him Nintendo Switch. Um, or no, I got given Nintendo Switch because I'm an influencer um, a couple of years ago. And it was very much like, we're going to ration this out. He can't use it very much. Yeah. Flash forward it's 16 kid. months. Kid basically lives in yeah. Zelda. Yeah. Um, he's 1 million percent obsessed with it. It's his literal favorite thing on earth. You've never had a worse conversation in your life than listen to my son describe like the properties of the different shields in fucking Hyrule. It, it's on real how boring it is anyway love you son um so i'm big on taking nintendo away because it's his favorite thing erica boss who's a longtime instagram follower says take things electric oh i can't wait to hit you guys with this one take electronic devices or events slash places that they enjoy away right ollie bilchek says take away devices mk stiv says take away electronics opal skinator says <laughs> tortures them by putting them the toys in a clear box that they can't see but can't get to <laughs> which i like that but this is what somebody suggested to me once to me and mom buried you set up a dummy event yeah count on the kid misbehaving and when he misbehaves uh, you say no nope, we're not going yeah it doesn't exist so right. you're not taking anything away you're just putting the fear of god into him which is essentially what all this discipline is mm. whatever you can do to scare the kid so you can hang that over his head and get yep. results Yep. Um, whether it's spanking or taking things away or this. I've never done this because it takes a lot of forethought and you got to be a little cold-blooded. So you got to kind of get really pissed unless you're planning to do it. And yeah. it inevitably backfires. The day you decide when this kid acts up, I'm taking away this fake thing that I promised to him. He behaves to get the fake thing and then you have to come up with a fake thing, you, which Trump, you never had. That's called Trump up charges. Trump up charges, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's tough. He calls your bluff. And all of a sudden, you're big disciplinary. That, uh, we that happened this weekend. Uh, my oldest you did daughter. That? No, my oldest daughter wanted to have a sleepover, and at the very end, or you know, she was just like being a real. She was just being a jerk to a lot of you. people, you and um, and she she was with a friend, and the, the other mom was there, and she was like, "Oh, can we both have a sleepover?" And we we're like, "Let's think about it." And then we're like, "You know what? No, like fuck that." But you did you, this in front of a friend. Uh, basically, Yikes. well, we 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 no no we the. They went away. 
the parents were talking were like actually I don't so both do that. couples were talking I mean everyone was fine with it like if if we were to have the sleepover but we we're like no but this was, so this was like a last minute thing yeah. that showed up and you and wanted she's been sassy so you're like been, no no uh, yeah exactly you could say sassy should I say sassy what about a jerk I feel a jerk you already said that <clears throat> mix it up okay all right so she's been <laughs> sassy which sounds like a like a it's sort of a really cool teen magazine maybe yeah exactly. you ever heard of it yeah but um. <laughs> No, I think that was effective because she was actually really crushed and so, felt good about that. I think it, that she needs to learn. In the short term, spanking is probably effective, at least for the moment. Taking things away, I think, is probably pretty effective. Timeouts, I think, are garbage. Um, my go to is. Garbage. Uh, I think they were. I'm not good at them. If you don't do them right, you, you they're gotta, garbage. Yeah. Every piece of this, if you don't do it right, you're going to fail. I don't do any of it right. right which is why my kids are monsters. Screaming, yelling, the well, other now, reason my kids are monsters. You do that I am correctly. a yell machine. Mm -hmm. um, I raise my voice. My wife insists that I don't necessarily realize sometimes how booming my voice would sound to an eight-year-old, but I realize. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want it. The worst feeling in the world is scaring your kid. Um, I've done that a couple of times by accident when he wouldn't fucking yeah. goddamn listen. Yeah. You just get hit the end of your rope sometimes. Yeah, you no. can't give yourself a timeout every time, and you fucking blow your top. That, first of all, that rope is frayed. Oh, my God. It's not even a rope. It's like a String. fishing wire. Yeah. Um, so retrieving underscore says, and I, I, I agree with her, I've tried it all. I've come to realize four beers and a good scream seems to do the trick. I'm not necessarily sure she's talking about screaming at her kids or just like screaming into the void. Yeah. Like in Garden State. Have you seen that film, Nate? Do you like it? That is. That has a, a, a now a reputation for like being a huge piece of shit. Like the backlash on that thing turned hard. People really liked it the first time. I grew up in the garden. Okay. When it first came around. Um, apologies. Condolences. I'm sorry. Another fit mother who is actually pretty, uh, uh, she's, she's a new follower who's been pretty engaged, says, screaming, it doesn't work, but I'm pretty committed to it at this point, which is essentially <laughs> how I am with I yelling. Yeah. It just is who I am, and it's like a hard habit to break, as uh, Chicago and Peter Cetera sang back in the day. In my elementary school, um, Mrs. Hale ran the choir, and we all sang Chicago songs all the time. Hard Habit to Break, You're what? My what Inspiration. Kind of high school? What? what are you it talking It was in high school. Played, it was elementary school. You played clarinet and? I played clarinet and saxophone in junior high and high school. Hmm. Um, but in elementary school, everybody was in chorus. Hmm. It was like the music class. And for some reason, we were always doing wow. Chicago went, songs. Amazing. You went from cool group to cool group. <laughs> Even I don't think it's cool. But... I do have an affection for uh, some of those Chicago songs, especially cool. Hard Habit to Break. And don't even get me started on Glory of Love. You know what I Peter want? Peter Cetera's solo. So <laughs> anyway, uh, what did Herbosaurus Rex? Herbosaurus Rex said, gradually yelling louder and louder doesn't seem to be working. But here's the thing. You can always get a little louder. Who's to say the next level of loudness won't be the one oh that God. cracks the code? That's what I. That's how I work. Yeah. And I like Little Charmer 80 says she starts with calmly explaining why that's wrong, escalates to rage shouting because of her kid's attitude. You know what? I don't truth. I don't think I have a very good loud like like voice. But you, you know do I mean? like quiet menace? Yeah, I try, but I just it's gets I really think quiet menace irritating. is cooler. It's not I I try and do that or I do do that. Um I I don't no, it's not effective for this for I'm just thinking about one one person in particular and it just does not affect just not affect well that's the thing Every, you gotta switch up your techniques for i know it's like parcells you treat the star players different yeah. because they're the star players parcells says that okay let me like that's that what he's talked about those are his lawrence taylor rules mm. okay you know what lt i'm sorry i talked about uh, american football yeah limey let me know when you talk about regular football which one in the world cup all right let's go older kids what do you think about it's more that? more takeaway stuff. So somebody suggested I talk about disciplining teens and tweens, but I don't know. I remember how I was disciplined. We got grounded. When I think of chill for a second. No, this is my chill zone. For a this second. is me. No, I'm we're but not she's not a teen yet. She's right? a tween. So, but when you were a teen, like being grounded was a thing. I feel like that yeah. wouldn't work on kids anymore. It totally works. But you got to take away all their it shit too. It totally. I have not there yet, but taking away. I feel like I don't have the authority to ground my kid. I feel like my kid is going to oh, be like cooler and tougher than me, <laughs> and I'm going to be like cowering in the corner while he goes and does whatever he wants. <laughs> no more That's screen time for you. Yeah. Oh really, fuck buddy? You, Dad. Yeah. How about fuck you? And then where's he take, my rent? <laughs> he, takes, he takes your phone. Can I have my phone back? He son? takes my phone. God damn he it. He charges me for renting my own house. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, um, anyway, yeah, I'm not there yet. Um, the the taking away, I, I think the consequence. Well, I, we call it consequences. I don't oh know. My whatever. God. It's just it's a taking away. Title everything. Consequences. Vomit it's, bowl. It's better that way. That's it's the only two things you've what titled. fits on my uh, for my tattoo on my forearm. It says consequences. Big um, consequences. What's that? Big consequences. Yeah. yeah. Um, Final frontier. Well, like I said, so the sleepover that just happened this weekend or did not happen because I was, you know, it was all going to happen. I was like, wait a second. Why are we doing this? She doesn't deserve like, it. Of course we could do a sleepover. It's not a big deal. We love this little, the girl that she wanted to come over, but yeah. like, fuck that. She doesn't deserve no, it, she right? hundred percent doesn't deserve it. Consistency and we, we basically like, there too. We, we flipped and, and oh, by the way, we always say, I don't know. To any request, yeah. I have no idea. Because you need to think about. And we it. need to think yeah. about it. Like, can I do this? Maybe. Maybe means you yes. Need to huddle. And anytime they say maybe means yes, boop, instant no. Yeah, no. Maybe my son sometimes yeah. thinks maybe needs yes. Yeah. I'm like you're absolutely. And so uh, like, you're nope. actually the opposite. But maybe uh, never means yes. So I'll tell you what. Instagram is a big. That's a big sort of Democles. Yeah. So I've been asked. Well, so, but it comes down to taking things away. And that's it, or not, or, or not grant, sorry. or not granting. Trademark, yeah. fucking Pete exactly. Anderson, exactly. Trademark. So, so Tom Foley said it used to be electronics. Now it's the car. Okay. Yellow underscore yellow umbrella says they take her fifteen year old's phone away, and ten year old loses screen time. Same shit. We all do the same stuff. Yeah. The, again, the key is consistency. Not only with having the same punishment all the time, but when your kid doesn't earn something not giving in and yeah. giving it because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we do more often than not. Cause a lot of times it's a lot more convenient to give your kid what they want. It's calmer. They're happy at least for right. a little while, right. but in the long term, it fucks up their behavior and your relationship with them. Do you know what I, we've, I've done sparingly, but every once in a while I'll catch myself is if they've done something like, compl- like they've just, <laughs> we're talking about like brush their teeth without being asked or like oh getting dressed God. or whatever. Yeah. Take some Ma- initiative. I, I make sure to, um, not reward per se, but if they've done something yeah, kind of positive reinforcement, really yeah. make sure people to talk down about that too. And I think that's like, what they mean by like Pandola 1105 talks about like positive discipline, which yeah. I think is when they do the right thing, yes. you, over, you praise them right. um, and try to get them to repeat it. Um, but before we get to that, there's a couple of some, so CW bullet says positive re- Mr. Redirection, which works pretty well with toddlers where if like your toddler won't let something go, try to make them laugh or right, point right, out right. something else and just kind of, you know, confuse them because yeah. they're simpletons. Mm-hmm. Um, but another big one is a uh, bribery and threats and the threats is taking stuff away. Maybe yep. it's spanking. This is what's going to happen. Jilly right. bean underscore 38 says it's a combination of everything spanking. Th- uh, and, and she says she uses spanking as a last resort, but the threat of it is usually what makes things stop, which is the whole point. Yeah. Hopefully you don't have to spank more than once. Right. Yeah. I don't, I've, um, like I said, I've only did it once, and it was like okay, a long time okay. ago. You don't have but, to keep apologizing for well, being no, a man. but I, but I don't. Uh, the threat do, isn't there. I don't ever actually. Oh, okay. Well, then you blew it. Then there was no point in doing yeah. it. It's an empty gesture. Actually, I don't think. Danny Ann <laughs> Chavez says bribery. <laughs> Stephanie Kennerson says threats don't work. You have to punish and follow through with the punishment. And yeah. Keep on it. I know Stephanie. Don't act like it's easy. I know. I'm. Uh, we are. I think mom, mom and Barry would probably agree with this, but also shift most of the blame on me that we are not consistent um, yeah. and we are, we both will easily just kind of give in to you're not supposed to have this, but we want to fucking go in the other room right. and chill by ourselves so you can have it. And we're bad about it. And we're fucking ourselves up. Ooh. Um, Megan Brazel says, do the opposite where you basically have to earn it. Like if you don't do this chore, you can't play video games. So you don't take yes. it away. Yes. You delay it until they yes. do something you yep. want, which is good. We do that a lot. A lot. Right. There's a ton of, um, uh, going down like in your room and being like, look at this place. Yeah. You want right. what? And yeah, it's like, yeah, we do that too. And, and then and then what I do is when they do a really good job, I accuse a grown up of coming in and helping them. <laughs> <laughs> you got some, tw- you got some twisted they, little uh, no, but then but no, then no, they, I go, cool. there's I like no it. way. I go, I there's no it. way a five year old could clean a room this nicely. Oh right. And they're like, no, I really. And it's they like, did it. They're yeah, so proud yeah. of themselves. Um, good cop, bad cop. I think every parent kind of does it. Although one of the most important things is to be unified, but I think by virtue of the fact that I usually am working a nine to five job and I'm not home, it's easy to use the spouse who's coming home later as, as you said, the sort of Damocles, right. you know, the consequences that are going to come down. If you don't shape up or whatever, daddy's going to come home and start screaming. I don't know. Which happens even if my wife threatens it or not. It's just the way it goes. Does, is that I a just dynamic? Walk in, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ha- I mean, 
I don't. That's not a dynamic that's been set up by my wife. Like, oh, just wait till your dad gets home. No, kind of scene. Like, it's mainly I like think that was more I think the like kids what are happened waiting the, for me to get home. I think home that was more like, like what happened in the eighties, like with my oh, mom, right? I think yeah. that was used like wait till dad gets home. I remember like yeah. being nervous, but it's not so much like he's gonna be harsher. It's gonna be like I know, and now once he knows, both of us know, and that is worse than just one of us knowing. Mm. But it's also because your dad is a little scarier. He had a mustache. Mm. Did your dad have a mustache? No, but I think uh, if I heard pipe? the story again, I'd, I'd want to go to my room. What? Pipe? What, is it? what are you saying? Did your dad have a pipe? No. You like a Sherlock Holmes? What? Houndstooth. <laughs> no, my cat. dad My dad was fully capable mentally. Oh, you're saying <laughs> Sherlock Holmes was yeah. some kind of mental midget? I think if you no come home. I think if you come home and put on a Sherlock Holmes cap. <laughs> well, he was usually smoking, smoking opium. I think there's, so a, maybe that's there's, why he there's probably cap. some issues All right, there. You know what? I don't know. You didn't like Sherlock Holmes. Who doesn't like Sherlock Holmes? Everybody. Let's go. I disagree strongly. So you don't have a bad cop, good cop thing. No. A couple other people do. A couple of them say, well, say that they're the mom and they're the bad cop, which I think that's a little Yeah, unique. I was going to say, I definitely, uh, my wife. Caroline really, Maria Gonzalez Villar PR, says that she's the bad cop. Yeah, my wife can, can definitely bring the bad cop real Real well. So what, one of the things my wife does is I'm, again, at operating at like a low hum, like That's a six, thing. and then I blow up. She Spikes. Well, yeah, but her spikes are very rare, right? Oh. And when they do come out, they, they even scare me. Yeah. Like when she goes off on the kids, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like well, my joy it. at the fact that finally she is being the monster right. is outweighed by the fact that like I need her to calm down because this is getting, right. this is getting dicey, serious, even yeah. for me. Um. So there's some other random things. I mentioned last week or last time, one, two, three, magic. I meant to look it up. I don't really even know what it is. I think it's just saying on the count of one, two, three. <laughs> I'm sure there's something more oh, to it. Oh, no, no. When you go one, yeah. get two, down two. Yeah. That, it I works, do that. It works up to, I will say, probably works up to th- four, five. Five, it's um. It's you done. mean age-wise, yeah. Yeah. I'm counting to 45. My, my yeah, yeah, four, no, yeah. five-year-old's like still building Legos. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, 56, yeah. 57. I mean, he might as well just like be giving me the middle finger while he's doing so, it. So a God couple of people it. said that. I, again, not 100% clear if there's something else to it, um, but I definitely do the countdown thing sometimes. But you're right. You get screwed when they call your bluff, and yeah. then it's completely over. <laughs> like, my favorite if is I um, try before underscore says ignore, ignore, ignore. And I do find ignoring your kids can be very satisfying. Yes. When you walk away from a tantrum yep. or you just go do your shit. The toddler is tough for me right now because – I'll just sit there and like he'll just sit next to me and scream the thing yeah. he wants in my face over and over and over and over and over and I gotta sit there and be like nonchalant, yeah. which isn't always easy. Eventually you break. Yeah. yeah. No, you know what? That's and actually like, fine. Is your fucking right. ice cream sandwich? God right. damn it! Yeah. No, I <laughs> out I, of control. I think ignore is such a good. That that's, I love it. That's it's effective. That's fun actually and effective, effective for tweening. By the way, for tweening. When uh, I found, because I, I, what are you going to do? Like, just like blow up at a, you know, a 12 year old. It yeah. doesn't work because that's exactly, because I, we were all 12. That's exactly what we want. So my wife. And so what I do is I just completely ignore. And then of course I start getting like pokes. So someone you know, said, like, hold on. I want to, I want to go off that. Somebody said that they like having teens, the older kids, Holly underscore Hammond five, who I, who I, who I mentioned earlier said she likes the older kids they reason better we can talk about consequences and i agree that like talking to them and stuff probably makes things a little bit easier um but that's got to be hard too because my eight-year-old now my wife is really worried about what my relationship with my eight-year-old is going to be like when he's like 16 or 15 because right now we are at each other's throats sometimes and he never backs down he never says sorry when he gets in trouble he just argues against why he shouldn't be in trouble yeah. and it is so infuriating can't we just like can't we just label these people can we put them in their names on a list and just like be a like, watch list yeah just like, that's you want to like target your own kid yeah. mm-hmm. okay the dick list and you wanted to and you, and this is the list that we were talking about at christmas time our entire lives and yet it's staring us, nice yeah it's staring yeah. us right in the face it's like you want to go on the dick list Another person said if somebody, if their kids aren't behaving around Christmas. I'm on that list. I'm on that list. Another kid, another parent, or people have said this online before, where if a kid's not behaving around Christmas, you have dummy gifts, boxes of wrapped empty gifts, and when they misbehave, (laughs) throw one in the fire. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) Which is the same thing as putting a dummy event and then yanking it back from the kid. You know what? It is amazing. It's traumatizing. No, no. These people have thought it through. They've, They've weaponized 
present kid. I know, but and I love it. You want to use weapons I against your kid? That's the thing, it. man. No. It fucks Psycho. them up. Even if it, I mean, look, it didn't do me no bad. Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay. Did we get it all? Oh man, I think uh, you we did. Charts? Chart? charts is like a reward chart. Again, that's oh, positive good. reinforcement, right? Where like you'll set up a list of chores and there'll be the days of the week. And every time the kid fucking does the tour, that chore for that day, he gets the fucking dot. And if he gets a certain amount of dots each week, he gets to fucking go to Walgreens and get a rescue bot. Mm. Something um, like that, right? Or maybe he'll have like a, a good upbringing and... Um, <laughs> Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but there's also... there's a uh, We did the stoplight. We have the where you stop the car and run, and try to get in different seats. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they start with your toddler, wow! No, no, I start. <laughs> I start <laughs> ghost riding the car with my kids in the car. <laughs> and I go, "Daddy's out of control." And I go, "See, that's what you get if you leave the air conditioning yeah. on. That's why you always leave a note." <laughs> so, no, the stoplight is uh, red, yellow, green. I know what a stoplight green. is. Green. Okay. Well, I'm explaining it for the people who don't, might not know. And you put There's your not one person who doesn't. You know. put a uh, you put the clothespin with the kid's name on the green, and if they are being a little bit of a dick on the yellow, and if they're just it's over for them, it's red. And I was have been consistently shocked by how much they buy in. Oh, Abby's on, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is it on red or this person's over That's here? Yeah. And they really respond to being on green or can I be back on green or, you know, because then because when you're on yellow or when you're in red, like no dessert or, you yeah, know, there's yeah, like yeah. little the little things that we've Gets, been talking about right. or like no screen time and the, the goal to be on green. It's, it's I, all consuming. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to bust it back out. I don't every once every like send me an email here. Send me an email like, with a link it out. and I'll check that out. Yeah. I'm into yeah. it. No, you just make one. Don't worry about it. Let me know how the spanking works. You uh, no. <laughs> That's <laughs> long gone, everybody. <laughs> I like how nervous you are. I know. Well, well you know what? It's not what pleasant to talk about. Look, it's, it's okay. About. No one on the internet takes anything seriously. Yeah. Except no. everything. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, I think okay, we got guys, that all. Let us know. We have an actual merch. Oh, stickers. Situ- well, not only do we have stickers, but we actually have a site. We have a site that we'll be putting on. Well, that's this is this is for our uh, our, our our patrons, our wonderful patrons that we're gonna. It's all coming their way. Um, but we have a, a merch site that actually has uh, a bunch. Of, we got Father's Day's coming up. It is. So uh, yeah, we're doing that next, yeah, right after this. So, Sweating uh, my ass off right now. So mm, that's wonderful. Right. Well, we You're should welcome. really get into it. Well, luckily but anyway, can't hear us. we'll put the Smell link. Us. We'll we'll put the link on dadandburied dot com and uh, and check it out on Patreon. There'll yes. be some information about it yep. for sure. Absolutely. If you want to join the rest of us, and and as always, get the it get the uh, podcast on iTunes, Spotify, WhatsApp, TikTok. recommend it. Give us a couple stars if you think it's good. Yeah, five stars to be okay. precise. Yeah, I was trying to be like, you know, gracious, but well, you're not you're good at it. A you bulldozer. Go for the gold. Okay, this has been a good one. Thank we'll you. We'll be everyone. back with uh, Father's Day, right after this. I don't know why you would still be watching this isn't a Marvel movie, no matter how much I look like Paul Rudd, which you can deny it all you want. It's there in the eyes, I think. I'm young looking like him. If you enjoyed the podcast, which you obviously did or you (laughs) wouldn't be listening still, sign up on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you want to listen to. Comment here on YouTube. Subscribe. Hit that like button. We want to hear from you. Comments, questions, dirty jokes, money, all the money you can give us. We'd love it all. Catch you next time.